Hello lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale and I'm here with a flip book tutorial. So go get your craft supplies and let's get started. For the base of my flip book, I decided to use white cardstock and I'm going to splatter gold color shine by Heidi Swap all over it. And I'm also going to punch out a one and a half inch scallop circle and a tab. And for my tab, I'm going to edge it in mint ID swap ink. And then for the rest of my cluster, for my embellishment, I'm going to use gold thread and some sequins. And I'm just going to layer all these items together for my embellishment cluster, which I mentioned earlier. <laughs> I absolutely love how this looks. It's so cute and it's fun. And I'm just going to staple them all together with two staples with my tiny attacher and then add a word sticker. Well, it's not really a word sticker. I used my typewriter and then backed it with some glitter paper. Okay, so next we're going to have fun with stamps. So go get your favorite ones and we're going to stamp all over the cover. So I chose one of my favorite stamp sets by Heidi Swap, and I'm just going to stamp out sweet and love and some hearts and some envelopes all over my page in mint, teal, and pink ink by Heidi Swap. So I thought this would be awesome for a fun change. <laughs> Because I rarely use my stamps. Well, I use my letter stamps all the time, but I, I find it hard to use my other stamps. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. And then I'm also going to stamp out XOXO all over with some stamps that I got from Michaels in the, I think it was $1.50 for those. <laughs> And I'm just going to adhere my embellishment cluster at the top with some tacky glue. And then on the bottom, I just freehand this heart and I'm just going to put a embellishment on top and I decide to use the butterfly. And this is also from Michaels. Alright, so I have a free printable for this template, and I will have the link down below. And I just, I didn't use the whole template, I only used like three-fourths of it so it would fit within my book. Okay, so I want a pocket on the inside of my cover, and I'm just going to trace an outline of my flip book. And then I'm just going to use my wavy scissors on top for added interest. Oh, and I just wanted to know, I'm just going to cut off just a little bit so it's easier to fold the covers in and out. Alright, and here's a fun thing to do. If you have a image that you love in your paper stash, you can always cut that out and use that as an embellishment. Okay, and I'm just going to decorate the inside of my book with washi tape, and I'm almost positive that all the washi tape I use in this book is from Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, so when I stamped that, I totally put the wrong date. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until I was looking through my book and I'm like, oh my goodness, I put February 10th instead of January 10th. <laughs> and I even looked at it like three times before I stamped it. <laughs> okay, so I just created another embellishment cluster similar to the one on the front. The only difference is I added a green banner underneath the cluster. Okay. So I'm just trying to decide how I want my pages and I'm going to attach my template page first. And then I have some cute valentines that I want to add as well. But on the back, I'm going to make a pocket. 
So I'm just going to trace around my image, or my valentine. <laughs> going to take my circle punch and then do a semi-circle cut. I'm just going to glue it on. <laughs> Simple! Okay, so I really don't like the print on the back with the pink paper, so I'm just going to add some purple glitter paper on the top half. I'm just going to trim around the edges to excess and then re-glue the front of my pocket. And I'm just going to attach it with some washi tape and then just add a little bit to the back because it was a little bit wobbly and then behind my butterfly punched paper I'm just going to attach some gold thread to keep you know the theme throughout the entire book Right, and then I think I need something else on my pocket, so I'm just going to punch out a purple heart and just glue it right there in the corner. And I'm just going to take some white cardstock and I'm just testing to make sure if it fits, and it does. And I'm just going to make that into a tag. And then for the hole, I'm just going to tie some Baker's twine that I got from Target. No tag is complete without some washi tape. <laughs> so next I'm going to make a little flip page and it's going to be a banner similar to the one that we used in the left hand corner in the embellishment cluster. Alright, so I'm just going to make sure it's not too long, and it is, so I'm just going to trim off the excess and attach it with washi tape on the front and the back. Alright, and then I'm also going to use the love punch, and I just love using it <laughs> on all my projects, and that is my Fiskers. Also added more washi, of course. All right, and then I'm going to stamp some more hugs and kisses. And then on the very bottom, I decided to add more washi across to make it more cohesive. Oh, and I also decided to use my gold gel pen and I'm just making faux stitches all the way around the border of my template. Alright, and then I just pointed out that I sewed the top of my note pages together for my letter. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up because I would really appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!